Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited. I've been planning this video for a while now because I've just been waiting for all of my stuff to come in and to have time to set this up. So, um, as you guys can see, I have a new planner here and this is a pocket-sized planner and I actually hadn't really seen too many people talking about pocket planners, but I had seen things about pocket planners like when I would go and shop for inserts I would always see an option for pocket and I never really quite knew or paid attention to what it was and uh, Kiara from Paper Princess actually did a video on her setup I'll link it down below actually hers is really good and she's the one who inspired me to get this planner and yeah so it's actually I mean it's kind of like I would say a little bit bigger than like a wallet I if you can see my hand comparison there uh, let's see let's pull in there's like a phone and this is an iPhone. It's not the plus, it's just the regular one. So it's pretty small and I am obsessed with it. So as you can see, this is a Louis Vuitton and it is the pocket size. And this one is actually kind of special because it is pink inside. And it's the reason why I picked this up. I'm actually not the biggest fan of Louis Vuitton in general. Just, I don't know, it's never been my favorite. I love their luggage, but I don't ever, I've never really cared for their handbags or other things, but I think their luggage is really, really pretty. Uh, but when I saw this with the pink inside, I just knew I had to have it. So I'm gonna walk through today this planner and my whole setup for it and walk you through kind of what I've put into it. And yeah, so let's just uh, get right in. Okay, so here we are. This is the planner. It does have this clasp on the front to be able to open it. And as you saw in the clip before this, it is all pink inside, which literally just makes me so happy. I absolutely adore this. I just love it so, so much. So um, I'll walk you through what I put in my pockets. I kind of made some things. I will show you. I made a washi kind of sample card and I thought this would be good because my thought is that I won't be decorating this planner too, too much. I did, I'll show you just one spread that I've done so far because I did just get this planner. So it's quite possible that this will continue to evolve because this is uh, my first setup and I just got it. So it's pretty new to me, but I did make this sample washi card because I thought it might be nice to be able to add into spreads if I want a little pizzazz and I can kind of have it on the go. So these are the three tapes that I used. This is from Shop Bandeau and these two are from Simply Gilded. I believe the pink is discontinued, but she does have this bow washi in other colors and it's pretty much my favorite. So I just pulled in my favorite pink tapes that I thought went really well, and I made this little thing. So I actually went into Michael's and I picked up, these come in like quite uh, larger sheets, and it's just got a gold kind of polka dot foiling, and it's on a clear kind of plastic, and the back kind of looks sort of semi-pink, and I just thought it was really pretty and I used it actually throughout the planner here to kind of layer in. And so I cut up a little piece here to fit into the top pocket there so I could have all of my pretty washi in there. I think it looks nice and it's also quite functional. And then I just pulled in this big bow clip from the Creative Bee and I absolutely love that. I like to stick, when I use my paper clips, I like to stick the whole clip inside instead of clipping it like onto the envelope. I don't know, I just don't really care for the actual paper clip to show. So I really love this. I actually felt like this bow was quite large when I first got it, but I thought it was so beautiful. And I really like the way it looks in this planner because it fits just perfectly across the way of this pocket. And then in the third pocket, you'll see I cut another piece of that little piece of um, acetate. And then I just tossed in this little ribbon bow paper clip there that was a gift from uh, a friend. So. That's the, the pocket setup. I kept it fairly simple and all in like the pinks uh, colors and such because I didn't want to get too busy. Uh, this is kind of a lot already for me, but I just love it all and I think it looks so, so beautiful. I kept this pocket empty. I didn't really do anything in there. Um, of course, you could always use this functionally and you know, you have three card slots basically if you wanted to actually use it as a wallet because this is perfect really to use as a wallet if you wanted to. I think it's beautiful. Um, and then I pulled in uh, some, a few things actually from Minted Sugar on Etsy and I love everything that I got. The main reason I'll show you in a second why I went to shop Minted Sugar for a lot of these items is because one, she does do pocket size, but also she has inserts that are in a soft pink color and I had actually wanted these inserts really for my personal size planner for a long time and I never really quite bit the bullet to do it. 
But when I was getting this one, I was like, I'm buying new inserts, I'm doing it, I'm getting these, and I was really excited about it. And I did get the horizontal layout in these. They are undated, and I love them so much. I think they're really, really pretty. They are just simple, and they're pink, so I don't really feel like I have to do much to them, and I just love the way they look in this planner to kind of carry through the pink theme. But let's walk through and go back to the beginning. So I did pick up this dashboard from Minted Sugar as well, and this is the pocket size. She does do um, other sizes as well, but this is the pocket size. It's just got a silver foiled heart on the front, and I did, you'll see, kind of mix in silvers and gold, because the pen that I have, which is a zebra pen, this was actually... I pulled this as a re recommendation from Kara's video and I picked this up on Amazon. It's just a little clicky pen and it fits in this like teeny tiny little miniature pen loop because I had no idea what other pen I was going to fit in there. So I just got the same pen because it's really tiny, this slot. And actually this planner is very lightly used so I still actually have to break this in so it's easier to kind of pull in and out of there. But anyways, so this dashboard is just as pink, a soft pink as you can see. I try to keep everything soft pink because I just wanted it to be very, I don't know, very girly and simple. And then I did pull in this up here. It's just a little, um, I don't know, a little die cut and it has some silver foiling on it. It's kind of, it was just this little thing and then I used this washi to tape it on here and it just says, be your beautiful self. So I just kind of added that in there for a little extra decoration. And then you'll note that I put these little sheets, which I cut up from this big sheet. It was quite a large sheet, so I just kind of cut it up with a ruler and an X-Acto blade. And I used one of these inserts as a guide to cut it and to hole punch it. And it was super easy. It didn't take me long. I just did it this morning. And I used this to kind of layer in after my dividers. And so in here, this is the first insert that came with the Shop Minted Sugar uh, weekly pages and I did add in this little sesame sticker that says love on it just because I thought it was pretty so it just the inserts start with this page and then you do get a monthly page so this is October and this is I filled out my monthly page it's the I only filled out this page in the next one I think and I kept it fairly simple it's pretty much all pen and I added in some sesame stickers and some happy planner gold stickers and I used some of the washi in here to mark out like a trip that I was taking. So I kept it, like I said, fairly simple, mostly pen and just wrote in big events in here. And this is also undated. So I just fill out the month and the dates and whatnot. So that's that page. And then in here, you'll see I use that same uh, polka dot plastic thing to make myself a page mark ruler because I didn't have one and I felt like I really wanted one. I usually like having this in my planner. And uh, so I just made myself one because why not? And then this is what my weekly spread looks like in here. I kept it very, very simple. And what I'm hoping to use this planner for is one, you'll note that I marked my videos in here. And then I just hand wrote in a few bigger things like bill dues and appointments and places that I needed to go. So more things that in my Erin Condren I would use in my, like as like quote unquote my today section. So I didn't put actual to-dos in here in these weekly pages. I kept it very simple and more appointment-based so that it was just kind of like a quick snapshot of my day. If it's somebody's birthday, if I have a meeting, if I need to go to somewhere, if there's a party or if I'm having dinner with someone, those types of things. So it's very simple, all handwritten. I'm not, you know, I don't intend to really use a lot of stickers, which is why I really like the soft pink in these inserts for that. Um, and then this paper clip is a little pom-pom paper clip. This was actually, so I actually purchased this from um, Planning and Mint, and she has an Etsy shop that sells uh, some clips and some stickers and whatnot, and she actually had purchased this for herself and she was selling it because she didn't find that she was using it so much, and I was all over it because I had been looking for one, so I was really excited, and she just included this when she sent me um, the purchase. So, it's just a little clip there and it matches the planner really nicely and then I just clipped it so that it um, goes into the next month. So you can see this is what the blank months look like, which is really, really pretty, just very simple and nice. So I love these. And then we move into here, the next section here. So I did put in another one of those sheets. And with this one, I did decorate it slightly. I just thought it was really funny. I pulled in this clip, which was from my Scroll Prince Co. One of her monthly kits came with this as an extra, this bow clip, which is really cute. 
And then I just pulled in again some more of that acetate and then this was just a die cut that I got as a gift from actually Amanda from Fox and Pip and I just think it's actually, it's so funny. And I haven't been able to find a use for him but I think he's hilarious and I really wanted to use him. So I put him in here just as a little decoration and I think it's funny because it's kind of like he has a bow tie. Anyways, it's quite possible that only makes me laugh. Um, and then in here I have more inserts from Minted Sugar and these actually, and I have to check her shop, if she does have these hole punched and ready to go, I will link that below as well as the notepad and I'll note the difference, but I thought they were actually punched in inserts, but it was actually just a notepad, which is actually really cute and I quite like this a lot. Um, and it is the size to fit this planner, but they weren't actually punched and it's, it's you know, you tear it off the, the top here, but I wanted them as inserts, so I went ahead and just pulled out a few sheets and I punched them and um, just added them into the planner so that I could have that. And I really like that you have a to-do section with little check boxes and then you have a section for notes here, which I think is really nice. So in the next area here, I just have that little piece of acetate again and then another divider. And in here, I actually have some new inserts. So these inserts are from Paper Calling. This is a new shop to me and actually Kiara recommended this shop to me. And it's really really cute she's got i love her like her fonts and everything that she used and i think they're really pretty so these she actually sent me uh, included in my order and these are for online orders to track so you've got a section for your date the store you purchased from how much it was you know if it was shipped or not and when you got it in if it was delivered or not and all of that so it's double-sided which is nice so I might actually pick up a few more of these because she sent me one sheet just to see, so I'll probably pick up more. And I thought this pocket size was nice because I think this is the planner that I'm gonna start carrying around with me in my purse and like on weekends when I'm going kind of on more on the go. I use my Erin Condren as more of a desktop planner and this is I think gonna be kind of more of my on the go planner. So anyways, just another sheet of acetate. And then this last divider here, this is also from Paper Calling and she sent this to me as well. And this just is for password tracking. I always forget my passwords. You guys have no idea how many times I reset my password because I forget it. And so I thought this was actually really good. And it's another one I think that's good to kind of have in an on the go planner. So I have that in there as well. And then here, this last divider kind of doesn't really lead to much, but I just pop, I picked up this from Amazon. This is just a clear little um, folder slot. I don't know. It's like a little photo kind of thing. And it's just got one big pocket. And I thought this would be good for carrying stickers around because I didn't really want to use this for stickers because I like to be able to see them. And so I picked up this. This is from Filofax and I picked it up on Amazon, but you can also pick it up from the Filofax website. And I just put in a few stickers here. I don't think I'm going to be using stickers too much in here, but I do want to be able to have accents in there as, as you saw kind of in my, um, monthly that I have a few stickers in here and so they're from here. So this I actually cut from a Happy Planner sticker book which is just all of the gold kind of icons and they're pretty small so they fit nicely like these page flags come from here and the star and the little arrow. And then these here are from Sesame which is all one sheet but I just cut it in half so that it would fit in the planner. So I've been keeping that kind of in this little back pocket here which I really really like. And then as you can see kind of behind this in the back of the planner, I kept it all very empty because I don't know, I just didn't want to have too much going on back here. I never flipped to the back of my planner, so I didn't really care to do that much in there. And that's pretty much like the max. That's like maxed out. These rings are very, very tiny, so there's not really much else you can really do with the planner. Um, I have two months uh, worth of inserts in here, and I assume that I will only be able to keep two months at a time uh, because it definitely will start to get full. I mean, I could definitely condense it if I wanted to, and I don't have to have these like thicker dividers and I could take this out and stuff, but I am really happy with this. I think it's really functional and I like that I can make lists and notes on the go. You know, if I wanna jot down my today's to-dos for the day, I can kind of write them in here or any notes that I have. If I have a shopping or a grocery list, I can kind of write it in here and take it with me in my bag and it's super easy to kind of work with on the go. I have all of my bigger appointments in here. And so I'm really excited to start using this and have it be really functional for me. Um, I did wanna show you a couple of other things that I have here from Paper Calling. So actually the first thing, what I actually purchased from her shop were these inserts because as you guys know, I'm very much a vertical planner as far as like my bigger planners go. And so she has these inserts here that are, oops, upside down, that are vertical inserts and these are dated and 
They kind of are like a week on two pages. They're very small. This does not fit the Erin Condren box size, if that's what you're thinking. They're much smaller, but they have a similar layout to like a week on two pages, just vertical. And I thought that this might be useful for me if I wanted to set up my planner in a different way. So I picked these up as another option, which I really like these and I think they're really cute. And then she actually also sent me, these are her nose pages, so I love the little font, it's so cute. Um, so those are double-sided and then these are her to-do pages. We've got some graph paper, which is really nice. And then these inserts, which are really interesting. I like these a lot. These are her, I don't know, one, two, three. So we got four pages, I guess. And um, these actually fit the Erin Condren box size. So you have like a note section all up here, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then you've got um, Thursday through the weekend. So you only get two days per page and they go vertically and this is the exact same size as your Erin Condren box. So if you wanted to use those types of things in here, you definitely have that option as well. So I'll link, you know, all of these down, or I'll just link her shop down below and you guys can kind of look through and stuff, but she has quite a few really nice inserts. I'm really loving the pink in here though as well. And I actually have another pocket size planner coming. Um, that's a different color, so I think I'll probably get a lot of use out of the, the white inserts in that other planner as well. But um, definitely very functional, I'm really excited. Let me, know, let me know down in the comments below if you want to see more on this planner, because I don't really feel like I can do like plan with me's on it because it's so simple. Um, especially for the horizontal in these, but I feel like perhaps in these I could potentially do a plan with me on in the more vertical type of insert. So let me know if you wanna see a plan with me or not. And if you do, if you wanna see it on the week on two pages here, or if you wanna see it on the week on four pages like these, or if you wanna see anything else on this planner. Cause if not, I don't really plan on showing it too much. Cause like I said, it's gonna be more of a functional type thing and on the go and really, um, not super decorative the way my Erin Condren is. It's going to be very simple and I really like the idea of just keeping it to a minimum and using it very functionally. I'm sure the, you know, the inserts and in what I have in here might change. I'm thinking of doing maybe like a Christmas wish list and a Christmas, a Christmas gift list in here for Christmas time so I can track what I need to buy for people and things like that because I think these, you know, this type of planner will be good for things like that that you kind of want to take with you like a shopping list, your grocery list, your you know, your bigger plans for the day. So anyways, I'm really excited. I hope you guys enjoyed this little walkthrough of the planner. I think it's so, so pretty. And it's just, I don't know, I love that it's small. It can fit anywhere. I think it's beautiful. And I love all of like the pinks and the silvers and golds and the metallics and stuff that are in here. So thank you so much for watching and I will catch you all in the next video. Bye.